seldom seen. The area where by most Paul's people heading to right now. Mainly so because you almost have to walk the area of Lake to get there. Very to seldom it. seen by uh, people unless they're familiar with the area. The area that so we're headed for is an incline location, which was originally a small settlement on top of the hill above Lake Linden called the Incline. The last residents moved out of the Incline location in the 1930s. This is what's called the Incline Dam. At one time it used to be a, a rock quarry for sandstone. As you can see the spring runoff, there's a lot of water running in. Whereas in the summer that water level is quite less than that, there's barely a trickle. Not only was it a rock quarry, there used to also be a settlement of about 300 people in the surrounding area here. Many of them worked for C&H because they had a prime way for moving copper ore from on top of the hill here down to the smelter or uh, in Lake Linden. And at the time, early 20s and 30s steam equipment wasn't enough they couldn't run a steam engine directly down to the, to the processing area which is about 300 feet which drops about 300 feet from here to Lake Linden is about 300 feet within possibly a mile and a half the overflow this concrete goes almost all the way down to downtown Lake Linden until it gets near town then it goes underground but as you can see it was all it's an overflow system which comes right off of the dam here and the water gets too high it runs off through this overflow system as you can see it's all concrete poured concrete all the way down there and it's reinforced with metal of the overflow system from across the dam here from the opposite side and you can get a little better bit of uh, view of what's going on so water rises beyond that point right there where the concrete starts it runs off into the uh, drainage area there and down to the lake And as you can see, there's a lot of sandstone still around here. There's still a considerable amount of sandstone in the area of the dam here. As I said, at one time there used to be a settlement here, about 300 people, but all the houses were built without foundations, but there's little, very little remnants left because of that. And according to history, this dam here, or quarry, at the time they let it flood, was 80 feet deep, approximately in the deepest area. At present, Lake Linden Fire Department uses it as a water supply for their fire hydrants, which gives them tremendous pressure 
and you consider a 300 foot rise within a little over a mile it provides tremendous head pressure for their fire hydrants. The remains of any ruins here in the area. It's an old foundation. It was believed to be original homestead of the Bel Air family, which was the last family to move out of the area, out of the incline area. Fruit tree. There's one there and a few other ones around here. So apparently they had what I would imagine are apple trees. They're all gnarled and pretty bad shape because of lack of care. However, at one time I assume they did produce fruit. Here again we have another old tree, which looks like a big old lilac bush is what it looks like. I'll just have to wait till later on in the year to see if it blooms. Now we hit head for home on the road. It brought me here. As you can see, it's very hard. It would be very difficult to drive up here with anything except a four-wheel drive or a all-terrain vehicle. As you can see, it gets quite muddy as you get further down the line. So we'll be heading back to Lake Linden and see what we see along the way.